So here's the plan for this episode. 1. Gather inspiration from rainforest and jungle animals. 2. Come up with a few designs of my own. 3. Pick one, flesh it out with a colour scheme and exploration of how it moves and acts. Seems easy enough. Maybe I'll actually get this video out in the next two weeks like I said I would. Step 1. Gather inspiration. There are a ton of different creatures in all the world's tropical climates. Reptiles, mammals, sea creatures, birds. When I started this, I tried to think about what kinds of creatures already walk the line of scary looking without looking overly scary. And then I remembered this thing. It clamps down with its knife edge beak and decapitates the thing before swallowing it whole. They tend to only raise the strongest baby, leaving the others to perish. It's an African bird, I think, so not great for my tropical climate designs. However, I can take a look at the elements from these birds that are the most scary and add them into my own designs later on. So, we know we want to make a bird then. Let's take a look at some types of birds found in tropical climates. I started thinking about maybe making some kind of dragon creature with this, so I also looked at some reptiles too. Which led me to ask some questions about the type of creature I'd be making. I knew I wanted something that didn't usually threaten humans despite being kind of scary looking, which is what makes it frightening when it does attack humans, kind of like a shark or something similar. With this in mind, I came up with this concept. A creature that can fly or swim, that has a harpoon-like tongue that shoots out like a frog and skewers its prey with pinpoint accuracy. It's big, but not bigger than a human. With this, I gathered a few references and moved on to step two. Come up with some designs. When I design things, I use a kind of iterative process, starting with just a general silhouette and outline using my references and refining it across several copy and paste variations. I started here with the silhouette of a bird of prey and began to add more reptilian looking aspects to it over time hoping to kind of blend the two into something natural looking. I looked at dragons briefly, but I didn't want something that big, and I still wanted it to feel like something you'd find while traversing a rainforest. So my inspiration largely came from existing creatures. The harpoon style tongue sounded kind of frog-like, so I experimented with some more frog-like designs too. Although frogs aren't that intimidating, so I didn't really feel like I was getting the right vibe from it. Back to reptiles. Then I decided to move away from iguanas and lizards and towards another type of reptile. Snakes. Flying snakes. I feel like this silhouette captured the intimidating presence I was going for best. So I spent a bit of time playing around with the shapes and form of the creature before going back over everything to refine all the designs and pick the ones I liked the most. I ended up liking these three the most. Those first two really felt like animals you might find in the rainforest, but that intimidating bird snake on the end 
just felt like it was perfect for the concept I had. So, on to step three, flesh out the design. This took me way too long for some reason. I originally made a painting of the bird, giving it the beak and colours of a pelican and trying to combine it with a snake. I spent some time learning about how to accurately draw wings and feather distribution, but ultimately, I just kind of hated it. This video would have been out much sooner, but I just couldn't stand this, and I kind of lost steam with it for a bit. I moved on to drawing other things as a sort of distraction, and played some video games, and generally left this abomination to rot for about a week and a half. But then I remembered what I'd said in the first video of this series. I want to try and get the aesthetic right, so I may spend a few weeks on this part just so I can be satisfied with everything, but I'll try not to take longer than three weeks on this part. Wait, when did I post that video again? Oh sh- Pulling myself out of my rut, I picked up my pen and sat back down at my tablet. Time to try again. All I needed was an exploration of how this creature moves and acts. Doesn't matter if the design is imperfect, I just need to make something. So I picked four poses to draw the uh, harpoon bird in and started sketching. And to my surprise, I actually did it. There was only one thing left to figure out. The colour scheme. Last time, I overcomplicated things. This time, I tried to keep it simple. Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs>